so it's 2019, and let's be honest, a lot of people want to start streaming, myself included. But if you're just starting out, you probably don't want to spend the $150 price tag that it costs for a stream deck. Maybe you've even looked at the uh, the six key mini little brother stream deck, but even that is a hundred dollars when it's not on sale. So today I'm going to show you how you can turn something like this, this little nine dollar USB external numpad, into something like this. Now let's be honest, this doesn't look great, um, but it's functional. You know, it doesn't look as nice on your desk as a stream deck will um, you may want to go as far as to put it in a drawer when you're not using it but it's functional and that's all we're looking for today so the first thing that you need like I said is one of these external numpads this isn't the exact one I have but it has all the same keys the one I got I think actually only cost me like seven dollars um, and then the stickers that you see here, these are um, self-laminating labels that I just printed out um, with these custom images and cut them to size with a pair of scissors and stuck them on. Um, you don't have to do that. You could just leave them blank with the numbers as long as you can remember what they are. I'm not that great at remembering what they are, so I had to do something. Um, the sheet of labels, I got at work for free. It was like a free sample. Um, so I didn't include that in the price um, of this, so because um, because that's optional. So you don't you don't have to have that if you don't think you need it. Um, you could always just get you know some other kind of sticker and write with a pen or a sharpie or whatever, whatever the each key does. Um, so after you've got one of these numpads, you're gonna need to go over to the download link in the description and download HID macros. So HID Macros has actually um, changed to Lua Macros. Um, when I tried to use Lua Macros, it didn't work for me. Um, other people have gotten it to work. I'm not sure what I did wrong. So um, I use HID Macros. So I just downloaded the latest um, version of that. And so once you download it, it'll come up. Yours will be blank. It won't have all of these on them. Um, but I'll show you how to add them. So if I pull this picture back up, um, let's say I wanted to do the the macro here to change to my first scene, which for me is my starting soon screen. Um, all I'd have to do is come over here um, and hit new. You can title it whatever you want to. And then on this side, you wanna come over here to where it says scan and you wanna hit that. And this little window will come up telling you to press any key or mouse and then what you want to do is click on whatever button you want to assign that command to. So for me, I have a little um, like movie reel with the number one on it um, for my first scene. So if I click that button, that window closes and it says keyboard one ninety seven, and it has the uh, the little one here. Okay, so then you want to come down here and type in um, the command, um, and here. Um, in this little bit right here, this is the actual key that it's going to send when you press that button. Um, so, like on my keyboard, I have F1 through F12. So, there's not an actual physical key on my keyboard for F13 all the way through up. Uh, I think mine are set to go all the way through like F25 um, or something like that. Um, and so, all those function keys um, are keys. They're just not on my keyboard. So, I will never accidentally press those. Um but if you wanted to do like a, a control one um, or like a control F7, um, whatever, you could do that. Um, when it comes over to um, adding in uh, the um, like control, alt, and shift, um, if you come to the help section, here's how you have to do that. Um, and it'll kind of give you like a, uh, an example um, of if you wanted to use those. Um, like for this one here um, for discord um, I couldn't get it to work by just sending F12 um, so what I did was it's control F12 and so 
in discord i have it set where i hit control f12 and then i just came into the macro and assigned it to send control f12 as well um once you've set the macro command in here you need to hit compile and then you're done um, that's all you have to do for this um, then once you come over to OBS you'll need to come to your settings come down to hotkeys and then for my first scene which is starting soon screen um, if I just uh, hit this clear button and then I click on this and I hit that um, that first scene key on my external numpad you'll see that it puts in the command that we just said so this is OBS hotkey and it's sending F13 so if I came in here and I said you know control and L um, it put that in there so clicking one on the numpad we'll put in that command um, I also have so let's say my be right back screen is scene four so that one is um, key number four so you'll see uh, that right there and it sends F16 so if we come to the be right back screen it sends F16 F16 we can go ahead and clear that out and if I do it again F16 we'll hit apply on these and then as I click the fourth key on my numpad you'll see that it triggers and it sends us over to um, the be right back screen and then if I want to hit the screen to come back it comes back to the start the starting soon screen um, so that's how you set those up um, if I pull this back up um, it's very important to note that you can't actually use every single key so these are the keys on my uh, on my numpad um, and they look exactly like the one that I've shown you on Amazon so the um, the numlock you can't actually use for a macro because it just turns numlock on or off now what you can do is you can assign um, a set of macros um, with numlock on and with numlock off so you can potentially double um, the number of macros you have on here if you wanted to do that if you think you need that many um, another thing to um, look in or to pay attention to is that you can't use backspace um, for some reason and zero and double zero count as the same key in HID macros so whatever function you assign to one you've got to use for the other key as well so that's why if you look at mine I have the unmute desktop audio set to both um, other than that though you can use all of the keys and you can of course change the num lock to be on or off and double the keys if you want to um, it's also important that or to know that you need to run HID macros and OBS um, studio or Streamlabs OBS whichever version of OBS you're using this will work for all of them um, you need to make sure you're running both of those softwares as administrator or when you're in a game and you go to hit one of the numpad keys it won't actually trigger the event because it the game's trying to use it um, and it won't actually send it to OBS if you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like hit that subscribe button um, if you want to come over and see it in action my twitch link will be down in the description um, I stream a variety of games um, so come on by check that out if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you